Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a full day of eating. It is my first day back on keto after six weeks off so it's going to be interesting to see how I feel because while I've been enjoying loads of keto meals mainly for breakfast and dinner the rest of the day has been not keto has just been intuitively eating so there's definitely been sugar and carbs and all sorts so I'm gonna see how I feel I'm gonna just go by what I feel like eating kind of also intuitively eat but keto foods keep them as low carb keto friendly as possible and just share the day with you and if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to join the yummy inspirations community and let's get straight into it and start making breakfast right for breakfast i am making a cheese omelet i've got five eggs and a whole lot of cream whipped it up together and i'm just going to heat it and make an omelet add grated cheese fold it over and i'll show you once it is all plated up and my breakfast is ready so this is my breakfast, so cheesy, nice, folded over, cheese omelette, I'm keeping it really simple and as low carb as possible because I don't know how I'm going to feel through the day today, so I want to start with as minimal carbs and there's really very little to note, well there's definitely carbs in a little bit in the cream, a little bit in the eggs, a little bit in the cheese, um, but I'm happy with that. And to drink I'm having oh, my keto hot chocolate, it's hot cocoa, It's which has got virtually no carbs in and butter look at that color let's give it a stir it always has this like yellowy kind of color to it okay yum just finished my yummy breakfast and I want to show you how I'm tracking my macros well it's really carbs that I'm tracking I've got this little notebook minion pen is absolute must um and excuse my messy handwriting I've got the date my meals breakfast I had two and a half eggs about two tablespoons of cream and a bit of cheese and I've added it up that way yes there are a million apps that can do this and uh, do this on the computer I don't mind being not completely accurate but rather just tracking I don't have a a carb goal in mind for today I just want to keep it as low as possible but I just want to track just just for my own good and this was the notebook I used in the beginning when I first started keto <laughs> in the front it might look a bit crazy but this is all the foods that I usually have and rough carb amounts and again I don't mind the cats come to say hello I don't mind not being 100% accurate I just want to track it I just find in the beginning just tracking just to get my head around again what carbs is it is in what and um yeah not being crazy I find if you track in every single thing and you have to be accurate you can drive yourself a tiny bit mad <laughs> the cat's tail swishing so this this works for me I'll show you previous days from when I I, I um later on I, uh, in my keto journey well in the beginning of my keto journey I also tracked protein as well um, I might do that as well after a few days I'm just just carbs so I just have the carbs I was even having maple syrup in the beginning um, just be easy on yourself first few days I want to track just out of interest I don't know I'm not gonna have a figure in my mind i um, see I was doing 25 oh turkey and veg soup 29 my handwriting is atrocious it's a good thing I don't have to handwrite every day um, uh, so this is just I was eating every few hours initially I might do that today I don't know um, but yeah so this is how I track it's very old school I like a pen and paper and can look back on it um, if you prefer to use an app go for it if you want to track and be accurate every single meal and all the foods and everything then again go for it but I'm happy with this so that's what I had and um, I'm just gonna listen to my body today and when I'm hungry I will eat and I will show you what that is so I thought I would have a quick chat with you about my thoughts of six weeks off keto. Today is my first day back on. I thought I'd just have a little recap of how I went and kind of what happened weight loss wise. So this morning I weighed myself. I had six weeks of off keto, but I was... I, I like to think I was kind of 80-20 intuitive eating keto I had keto breakfast most days and I had usually keto dinners and then lunch and the rest of the day was kind of out and about I started straying from keto because I went away on holiday to Japan for a few weeks and um, I knew that the food there I wasn't sure what I was going to be able to find so I went off keto because I just wanted to just enjoy and not think about it and that's what I did and I came home and initially I kind of tried to get back into keto but I still have a bit of chocolates left and a bit of this and a bit of that and I thought I found that getting back into keto then was a little tricky because there was just too many distractions and I was 
just on still high from my holiday and um, getting back into it just wasn't quite happening so I thought what I'll do is I'll set myself a date and just have a few more weeks to just just let my hair down to not think about it and that's what I did and I set myself the date of 1st of May which it is today had it in my diary I, I told you guys I was accountable to 1st of May day back and I am in such a different headspace than I was when I first got back from holiday and tried to get back into keto I'm so excited for getting back into keto I've been looking forward to eating the keto way I look forward to getting my body into ketosis I'm going to use keto sticks every day to measure and I'll let you guys know how long it takes me to get back in um, once I'm in ketosis I'll let you know yay I'm in ketosis um, for now I'm just taking it one meal at a time um, I had breakfast um, a couple of hours ago and I'm not hungry yet. I'm trying to listen to my body. I don't want to go into crazy, um, hungry, hangry kind of a mood. So um, I am just going to maybe in a little bit have a snack. Um, when I first started keto first time around, I, I found it's easiest for me to eat every few hours. Um, because I wasn't keto adapted yet and that's kind of the same now I'm just kind of gonna see how I feel because I've been in keto before my body's a bit more used to it but also I found the last few weeks I'm getting hungrier I forgot what being hungry proper hungry feels like um, because on keto I just kind of would eat my meals maybe some snacks here and there but I wasn't like starving hungry so yeah that's gonna be interesting to see and oh yeah how much did I actually lose six weeks off of keto I lost 1.2 kilos so over two pounds in six weeks of not being on keto but again that wasn't it wasn't an all-in carb fest so thinking you're gonna go off keto and you're gonna put all the weight back on it really depends how you do it because you hear stories of people lose heaps of weight on keto the second they're off it they put it all back on that wasn't the case for me in six weeks I lost 1.2 so I'm actually lower now than I was um, when I went off keto so um, going back on it feels positive that um, hopefully this will help me break through the kind of long-term plateau I've been having. So I'm going to do six weeks of strict keto, get myself into ketosis. And I'm saying six weeks, but I'm going to see how I go. Um, definitely at least six weeks. But if I get to the six-week mark and I'm still losing at a considerable rate, then I will just keep on until I kind of have a plateau. Otherwise, if I get to the six-week point and I've had a plateau for a week or so, I kind of know from the scales and from how I feel, then I'll definitely take six weeks off and I'll do the same again. And as I said, six weeks off to me means keto breakfast, probably keto dinners and lunch out and about or something different, added extras, the bits that aren't on keto. Um, I've said all along, you should find something that works for you, something that agrees with you, experiment and see. For me, I feel that this will work for me long term. Um, I feel having been on keto long term towards the end of my six months of keto, um, I started to feel a little bit run down, tired and um, I, I just felt I needed something and obviously that was extra carbs because once I put extra carbs in I felt awesome again. I've had time of definitely heaps of carbs and now I'm going to see how I feel going back into keto. So for me personally I think, think six weeks of ketosis probably is going to be around the right time but I'm going to experiment and see and share the journey with you. So yeah experiment and find what works for you. I feel that if I were to have a one day a week of carbs it just I I just would <laughs> every day would end up turning into carb day so I personally for myself need six weeks of zero carb distractions um, I am gonna track in my notebook just for the first week or so just to get me on track and to just get my head around again what makes up a day of keto and then I'm just not gonna track and I'm gonna do as they call lazy keto and just eat to hunger eat low carb keto meals every meal of every day so that was kind of my thoughts of getting back into keto six weeks off of keto and um, I'm gonna move now into a snack yeah after talking and talking about food now I'm ready for a snack so I'm gonna make a snack show you what I have and then just keep sharing my meals through the day okay a little bit of an unusual snack um, I've got a celery stick got a whole lot of look at that fatty silver side and some mayo that's kind of from all of the meal prep that I made yesterday I just grabbed a few bits and pieces and I'm gonna have that as my snack and then in a couple of hours have lunch and share that with you 
and this is my lunch I've got a couple of lettuce cups and I've made little there's a hard boiled egg avocado and a whole lot of mayo and I've made two of these kind of lettuce cup the egg mayo and avocado greens and um, they look really good and really filling and the cat is hovering around because he thinks I'm gonna have tuna because I often have tuna salad lunches and he's waiting for me to open tuna but I don't feel like tuna today cat sorry <laughs> so that is my lunch and um, I'm probably gonna have an afternoon snack by the way I've been feeling um, I had that um, meat snack that saw me through and now this is my lovely lunch um, and yeah I'm not sure what else I'm gonna have I'm feeling really good today I've got like this awesome energy um, even though I wasn't having heaps of carbs before I just maybe it's a mental thing as well I always say like part of the struggle with keto is mental struggle the mental journey and I feel good I feel awesome today so I'm really excited um so I'm gonna have this lunch and see what I feel like through the rest of the day that was a lovely lunch and I wanted to just have a quick chat with you about the importance of drinking water and keeping your electrolytes up on keto so really simple drink heaps of water the more the better and I take this electrolyte called Carmix it's a practitioner only one here in Australia but it's really just magnesium potassium um, and a whole lot of other vitamins and minerals so just make sure you're keeping up your vitamins minerals you look it's got zinc in it all kinds of things um, so I will take this pretty much every day while on keto um, drink heaps of water and I'll also have veggie stock that keeps my salt levels up so if you've got your electrolytes up you will be right it is the middle of the afternoon and I feel peckish so I am having strawberries and cream I measured out strawberries well, about four or five strawberries and chopped them all up and topped with heaps of whipped cream and that is my low carb high fat keto afternoon treat I have this I've had this most afternoons while on keto so first day back I just got to do the strawberries and cream so this will see me through until dinner and I will show you that next right and for dinner I am sauteing a whole lot of cauliflower with mushrooms and heaps and heaps of butter it's getting steamy and heaps of butter and I'm just gonna keep cooking it until it's completely reduced down add a bit of cream and just have a big creamy cauliflower dish I'll show you when it's all done it's just getting so steamy my dinner is almost ready to add the cream. I added a bit of turmeric early because I just love the flavor it brings to cauliflower. And it's just so good. You could have this just on its own, but I definitely want to add more fat into my day. So I'm going to add some cream. So my dinner is in the final stages of cooking and I just thought I would catch up with you. End of my first day back on keto. It's felt awesome. I'm already feeling so good. Um, I look forward to actually measuring my keto sticks tomorrow morning and seeing where I'm at because I've got feelings of ketosis. I feel the energy and <laughs> going to the toilet like crazy, um, drinking loads of water, all of those signs of keto. So I'll be curious tomorrow morning to see. I measured this afternoon, not in keto just yet, but I did start this morning. So, you know, I'm just a bit of ahead of myself, but it's good to kind of know where I'm at. So um, I'm about to show you my dinner and that brings us to the end of the day. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more inspiration and um, leave a comment let me know what videos you'd like me to film during my every day in May and just so you know I am um, gonna upload a video every single day but they might not be in real time I've got a couple of recipes I filmed last week and um, then I'm gonna keep up my sleeve for days when just get too hectic because I'm filming all day and then editing and homeschooling my kids and doing other projects um, there's just not enough time to do everything in one day so there's definitely gonna be a new video every day in May but some of them might be pre-filmed just just so you know all right so I'm gonna show you my dinner and then we'll call it a day okay so that is my dinner um, it's just getting it's really really hot it's just come off the stove I've got my cauliflower and mushrooms and it's in a creamy sauce and with turmeric just yummy and full of flavor and I thought I'd just show you my little notebook for the day and calculating all my carbs for the day and we are at a grand total of 18 carbs for the day net carbs um, I'm 
very happy with that for my first day back. I felt good. I was surprised. I thought I would be a lot hungrier than I was. I was hungry this morning when I went and made the um, meat and mayo and then I had my lunch and I just kind of felt normal and felt really good. Of course, my strawberries and cream. Again, my handwriting is just a bit atrocious. Um, so <laughs> that brings us to the end of the day. Thanks again so much for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Bye.